what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and i want to talk about this diddy situation yet again because we know that yesterday all hell broke loose because those agents came by land sea air and the chimney bitch santa claus now just to give you guys a quick recap all three of diddy's mansions in miami new york and la were raided based off of some potential s trafficking charges now this is the whole thing about this particular issue and you guys can say that i'm wrong but this is just how i feel even though they're out to get diddy and rightfully so because of all the treacherous things that he's done to people that were close to him his own family and things of that nature somebody tipped him off because me personally i just find it extremely odd that at the time his home was being raided in california and we now know that he was present in california when his home was being raided within beverly hills california i just find it odd that while this is all going on you're trying to check the hell out of the country and you left your sons and other people that was within your home to deal with your mess and your shenanigans that you've created over the years. Now, it could be a coincidence that Diddy had already planned his trip without the knowledge of him being raided, but I highly doubt it, y'all. And the one thing that I did notice is that I'll be sure son Quincy was nowhere to be found. And I did hear from a reputable source within the industry that the twins, Diddy and Kim Porter's twins, Jesse and Delilah, they're with Kimora. Now, there is some footage that TMZ was able to capture of Diddy pacing around the airport after Diddy and his team was stopped for questioning when Diddy tried to exit the country. And so he looks very nervous. He looks very panicky. He looks like there's a lot of things on his mind. He's trying to figure out his next move. Now, there's a lot of news media outlets that are reporting that during the time that Diddy's home in Beverly Hills was being raided, that once they were able to detain Justin Combs and his son, Christian Combs, that during the process of them questioning Diddy's sons, that Diddy's sons were actually laughing at them. Now, I've been told that the agents was definitely perturbed and ticked off at the fact that Diddy's sons were laughing and giggling in their faces. And I'm told from my plug that has a relationship with the anchor out there in the Los Angeles area that Diddy's sons were told that they wouldn't be laughing nor their father pretty soon. And it's also been expressed to me that this investigation that has just kicked off is on the grounds of the information that Kim Porter retrieved over the years. Now, some of the information that they're looking for is new via Cassie. But remember, I told you guys that Cassie had information from Kim Porter and also all of the individuals that have been violated by Diddy, especially Rodney Jones. Rodney Jones has a lot of concrete information and it sounds like they have some concrete information enough to raid Diddy's home for a possible indictment and that's what we're all hoping for. Now another thing that I want to clean up is the fact that a lot of people are running with this narrative that Antigua and Cape Verde doesn't have an extradition process back to the U.S. Yes the hell they do. So if Diddy is in Cape Verde or Antigua if he steps off that plane and the U.S. officials want him, they can get him. Now, I do want to reiterate this before I play you guys these clips. Do not underestimate the power of Kim Porter just because she's not here in the physical form. I'm trying to tell you she's here in the spirit and she left a lot of receipts that will incriminate Diddy. And so I want to ask you guys this. I want you to think about it, right? Stay with me here. Do you think that Cassie would have had the fortitude and the courage to go forth with going after Diddy for all the things that Diddy did to her? if she didn't have any other concrete evidence to incriminate Diddy. Because at the end of the day, when you look at everything in its totality, everything that Cassie was saying was hearsay. Now, she had a couple of videos and a couple of text messages and things of that nature, but she didn't have the encounter of him actually aring her and things like that. She had other concrete information that was passed down from Kim Porter to her. And that's why Diddy paid so quickly. Because if you want to keep it all the way a buck outside of the information that Kim passed down to her, the only footage that Cassie had was her looking like a willing participant in all of the freak off sessions that she basically was a part of because Diddy forced her to. So she looked like a willing participant. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about here. Cassie had information from Kim Porter that was passed down to law enforcement officials and basically, this is why they're at Diddy's mansions in New York, Los Angeles, and Miami. But anyway, guys, I want to play you all these clips that pertain to this issue, and then I'll be back to close the video. 50 Cent kills me. He is so freaking funny. He has already posted twice on Instagram about Diddy's homes being raided, and he shared them to his Instagram story. This is the first thing he posted. And then he posted this. He said, now it's not Diddy do it. It's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they've got a case. 
Oh my God. Rolling Stone reports that helicopters, several helicopters were seen swarming Diddy's home in LA today as it was being raided. A source also told Rolling Stone that four Jane Doe's and a John Doe have already sat down with the Southern District of New York's investigators for interviews. There are more interviews scheduled and this is for an investigation related to a second and RICO case. Homeland Security also released a statement saying earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. This is not looking good. Well, for Diddy. It's definitely looking good for all of his survivors and all the people he's harmed. Did Diddy flee the country? So I'm sure by now y'all have seen that Diddy's homes in LA and Miami have been raided. Now, according to TMZ, Diddy's private jet has been tracked to Antigua. But although it's landed, no one can be sure if he's on the flight or not because nobody has exited the plane. And I've been seeing people ask questions in terms of what are Antigua's extradition law? Extradition means that if you are accused of a crime or if you're convicted of committing a crime, and attempt to flee the country that the country that you have fled to has an agreement with your home country that they will send you back or that that country can come and get you. So for example, amidst all of the allegations against Russell Simmons, he fled the country and went to Bali, Indonesia. Reason being is that the United States does not have an extradition treaty with Indonesia. However, if Diddy is in Antigua, that sucks for him because Antigua is one of the many Caribbean countries that has an extradition treaty with the United States of America. So if he steps foot off of that plane, Antiguan authorities has every right to either send him back to the US or hold him and let them people come get him. So remember friends, if you don't wanna do the time, don't do the crime. I don't know guys, I think what's happening in Diddy's house right now is just the catalyst to the downfall of Hollywood as we knew it. He's not going down alone. Y'all just buckle up because we're about to find out a lot of your favorites are certified weirdos. I mean, we've been new because Epstein, I mean, we've been knowing Hollywood is weird. Quiet on set just came out. All this stuff is happening. Age of Aquarius, baby. All the people at the top are going to now crumble. Notice how all these people who are in positions of power and have been riding the power trip wave for God knows how many years and being super corrupt, super manipulative and thinking they could get away with it are now getting exposed and I'm here for it. This is the time where the power is now going to be redistributed to the collective this is good. It's going to happen in more than one ways. It's going to happen in Hollywood. It's going to happen within our government. You can come back to this video and tell me I was right. Cat Williams called it, you guys. Cat Williams said that this was the year it was going down and just look what's going on with P. Diddy today. So not only did his house get raided, but this dude straight up left the country and flew to a country that has no extradition with the USA, leaving his kids behind to get arrested. I mean, that's is wild. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how true the whole plane part is. I just got off of work and just barely opened this app and that's all I've been seeing so far. But it is, if it's even remotely somewhat true, I mean, that's nuts. What, did P. Diddy miss an Illuminati payment or something? And that's why he got raided and he decided to dip out the country? Like, we might actually be witnessing the complete and total fall of Hollywood right before our very eyes. All within what feels like a week, we got the Nickelodeon documentary, which proved that everything we watched and loved as a kid on Nickelodeon was made by a bunch of f***ing creeps that deserve to burn in hell. And now P. Diddy's getting raided, which let's be real, you're only going to really get raided unless you have some pretty solid evidence, all right, that they're going after. And then on top of it, supposedly or allegedly, P. Diddy flew to a country on a private jet that doesn't have any extradition with the United States. I mean, that's all just within the week. Something must have happened recently in Hollywood because people aren't afraid to speak up anymore. And honestly, I'm here for it. Who's next? Let's burn this whole thing down. You just know all the executives at Disney right now are their pants hoping that somebody doesn't go whistleblow and start talking some shit, and then you know the quiet on set documentary gets a season two all focused on them like shit's 
getting crazy out there. And to think it's barely March. We still have nine months of this year to go. Who knows what crazier stories are going to come out. Somebody better go find Cat Williams and protect that man, okay? Because I don't know what happened, but he was like the Oracle of 2024. Sloan Bella predicted the downfall of Diddy's career. She predicted this stuff before, right before Cassie's lawsuit, that she knew something was going to happen with P. Diddy. And this interview she did was after Cassie's lawsuit came out, and she predicted that Diddy's downfall was not over. She said a big thing was going to happen at the end of March or April around the Easter time frame. And look at where we are now. The feds are raiding Diddy's house. So let's talk a little bit more about everything that she said in this video. She said not only will Diddy go down, three of his right-hand men will go down with him. She also said Kim Porter's death will not remain a pneumonia death and they will figure out what actually happened to her. She said that they're going to find out that P. Diddy's clothing is a front for something else as that clothing travels all over the world. And she also said that people are going to come out and talk about the bodies that are buried and how Diddy has political ties all over the country. And she actually says he's going to try to physically move away to get away from all of these allegations. I love Salome Bella. She is always on point. So I'm going to go ahead and roll you guys this clip where she explains exactly what was going to happen to Diddy in the March, April, Easter time frame. And y'all definitely go back and watch this whole video so you can see everything she had to say that's going to happen to Diddy because she's right on the money again. Well, there's a complete and utter takedown of P. Diddy and his three right hand men. Okay three. So there's going to be a takedown that comes in with that. And he's going to try to step away. You, he's, they're not done. If something comes up around Easter time in reference to him and other people accusing him, I feel it's going to be a continuation of dominoes until he can't take it anymore. And then there is a moving away, both in a physical sense and an energetic sense. But remember, they are shutting his mouth. He cannot speak. So that's coming up on him. Like, that's happening. They are literally, okay, energetically shutting his mouth. So he can't even defend himself. He won't even be able to speak. He is being sacrificed in favor of his mentor. So there is a mentor that did to him what he did to this current girlfriend and to Kim Porter and every other person that he's been around to take advantage of on an energetic level. He is now going to reap that. That is now happening to him because they don't want the person who groomed him to go down. And that guy hides in the background. There's a whole bunch of like political stuff going on. Like there's political stuff. There's ties to this country, that country. The clothing is a front for something else. That clothing traveled all over the world. What happened as that clothing was traveling all over the world? That too is going to be rectified. There's a hierarchy going on here and there's a total takedown of him. He is being sacrificed. So he may think he gets away with stuff. He may think it's cool he does what he does. But now he's the sacrificial lamb. And I do mean that. There's something that comes up with him in March. Speaking of the lamb, during the Easter time frame, March, April, right in that time frame. That's why I said lamb. There's something else that's going to come up with him. We are not done. It is a complete takedown. All right, so you guys just heard all of that. Some very interesting and impactful information. Now, I want to talk about Sloan Bella. Sloan Bella, let me just go ahead and say this. I know a lot of people are interested in regards to what I have to say about you. I just want to say, please, please don't stop what you're doing because a lot of people won't give you your credit but you have been factually correct on so many things, especially as it pertains to this Diddy situation. A lot of people within my community are hesitant to give you your flowers, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you your flowers and I'm just gonna call you just a gift. You're just a gift, you have it. You are that it factor because for someone to just be talking about this situation, right? And predict that something was gonna transpire with Diddy around the last week of March, the beginning of April, around Easter time, you can't challenge that you cannot challenge that so if you can't beat her join her that's what i'm telling all the haters against lone bella she's just a magical gift 
that has been sent to us i'm not going to say from god because i don't know her religion and i don't want to disrespect her but she has a gift so for anybody that's not familiar with sloan bella i suggest you get familiar um, i'm going to pin her youtube channel within the comments of this video go over there and leave her a nice message because a lot of people have talked a lot of trash about her and she didn't deserve it because they doubted the spiritual intellect and the connection that she has with the higher power and so i just want to give her her props today all right so shout out to sloan bella slide out to everything you do keep up the good work but anyway guys i'm gonna let this go right here i want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about everything that was discussed within this video don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.